welcome aboard Island Packet 349 number 10. I'm Daryl and filming today is Leslie. Hi. We uh, had this boat shipping out today uh, on its way to Michigan. A couple there are going to be cruising and sailing the boat in the upper part of Lake Michigan. Some of the things that we did special on number 10, we're here to point out. Uh, we did do a new uh, material called Sumbrella Horizon on the cockpit cushions. We also did a extra high helm seat. We did Keiko Davits. We did a cooler box here in the port locker where you can certainly get I'm thinking of some uh, a six pack of Bud Light and some ice. <laughs> The boat also has the side power bow thruster and a full electronics package. And then on the starboard cabin top, we have the Harkin Unipower electric winch, which will they, they will be using for the main sheet, the spare halyard, and the main halyard. We also did the Bomar chrome hatches. And this boat, if you look forward, you can tell is rigged out as a cutter rig boat because the Hoyt boom is behind the windlass. Uh, on the Solent rig boats, the Hoyt boom is in front of the windlass. Obviously, like all the next generation island packets, we use only Kusa board versus marine grade plywood. We have dovetail drawers, and we're using mainly solid woods down below. And then we varnish the entire boat as a one piece uh, once we finish her down below. We get a much nicer look that way. Uh, this boat does have the sapelli or wood uh, hatchboard trim. Uh, we can also do the starboard as we've done on several boats before. Why don't we go down below? Let's go down below. Start in the galley? Start in the galley. All right, well, the owners of this boat uh, wanted a single level, le single level <laughs> countertop, sorry. Uh, so what we did is we put in a different refrigerator freezer than we have in the past. Uh, if you remember, we're using the two drawer refrigerator uh, freezer combination. This is a single door with a freezer inside, uh, but that was uh, their choice. Uh, and we certainly do custom stuff like that. It allowed us to do an extra drawer up here on top of the galley. Obviously the microwave, uh, paper towel storage, pantry storage, dish storage. She actually, they actually wanted a little bit larger uh, opening in the dry locker, which we did, and they did not want it hinged. We can do it hinged or unhinged. It's entirely up to you guys. Our new maple and sapili stove cover. As always, in all of our boats, we have the three burner force 10 stove with oven. They pick out the countertops, obviously they're Corian. They picked out the double sink. We can do the single Corian sink as well. And on all boats, standard is the freshwater uh, spigot. Uh, that is goes through filter, a filter, a single filter. So you can use that for coffee and stuff like that. As in all the boats, we've got silverware and cutlery storage and a little small additional pantry storage here. Underneath the sink, we have the trash bin, and then we have a counter, a, a counter cover for one, one of the sink sides that you can use as a cutting board as well. Onto the electrical panel. What is this little? Oh, well, these are our little small drawers for kitchen utensils. And then we've got a larger drawer here on the bottom. These are light switches, obviously, for the dimmers. The overhead and the rope lighting along the hull sides are all on dimmer switches that are available right here. Uh, electrical panel, pretty uh, common here for us. We've got our 120 volt on this side. We did do a diesel fired heater here, our Valmar battery condition indicator, our tank monitor system, our Magnum uh, 2800 watt inverter controller, ICOM VHF fusion radio, and of course our 12 volt panel. 
you notice we hide the return air conditioning here. Uh, you don't have one of those metal grates that I absolutely don't like. Uh, and then we do a little book rail uh, for books. This port starboard side was built in with the two settees excuse me, and the convertible table. So this is designed to obviously the cushion to stow away, the table to come up, fit right in here. Uh, and then you've got a table uh, for cards, games, navigation. And then when it's in the down position, obviously you can use it as a bunk. Storage underneath both of the settees. This is also the new Horizon, uh, excuse me, Sombrella Horizon material versus the ultra leather. Uh, so really nicely done. Obviously this is our supply air. And then on the underneath here, you may not be able to see it, but we actually built a rail for the bed dog, dog bed, bed dog, <laughs> dog bed. <laughs> All right, we'll let Leslie take a look in the forward cabin. The mattresses were shipped directly to the owner uh, so that they could actually start preparing sheets and, and uh, bed covers before the boat even got there. Uh, this boat is built in the Pullman berth forward. Uh, with the two hanging lockers. Uh, the port side hanging locker is standard. The starboard is optional, and it is optional as a hanging locker as well as a shelf locker. So the shelves are removable uh, and adjustable, and then we have a dowel up here to make a hanging locker as well. Uh, this locker was actually built a little bit higher than the one on the port by request. Great lighting in here. The Pullman berth also has the blanket storage below and a nice pull-out drawer with dovetail fit and finish. Cedar lined, of course. There is a full height mirror behind the door. So here's our head, um, just like any of the other 349s, except obviously they've selected the Corian countertops, the vessel style sink, and of course the faucet to go with the vessel style sink. Nice style shower. I believe we do the nicest shower door in the industry, or one of the nicest. 3 8 inch acrylic. We can put any logo that you want on here. Uh, obviously, standard is the Island Packet logo with the waves. Strong hinges, tucks away, stows nicely, drains throughout the sole of the of the head. Growy faucets. Electric rare tan freshwater flush toilet. Okay. And then um, for those of you who have not seen our engine access, we're very proud of this. Comes up pneumatically on pistons and holds itself up. Light obviously inside the engine area, providing great access to the engine, as well as we have side access on both sides. And then of course, access to the aft part of the engine and the transmission and the stuffing box underneath the quarter berth. All really accessible. Lockdown in position. Port side, we have uh, the standard settee. Pulls out, and makes a double berth. We did do a full height hanging locker. Excuse me, full height storage locker here with one shelf uh, by request. Uh, we can do no lockers here. We can do half lockers or full height lockers, uh, any combination. And then of course a, a book rail. Let me grab my water bottle. Thank you. Uh, our traditional table folds down. We can do either a single leaf or as requested in this boat, a double leaf table. All solid wood, or we can do a Formica top if you'd like. 
do want to cover up that beautiful wood. Of course, it had the nice storage behind as well. These owners opted for the footstool, which has storage inside as well. It attaches securely while underway. And can be used obviously as a footstool or additional seat. We'll let Leslie show you the aft cabin. Uh, one full height hanging locker, one smaller hanging locker slash shelf area. And then again, the mattresses were shipped direct to the new owner. the new owners lots of great cruising and, and great memories from all the folks at island packet god bless bye bye